It's not been that long since I first tested the Google Chrome 3 beta build and I came across on the same filehippo.com website which I mentioned in the last one the same website I found the Google Chrome 4 developers preview which is before beta so it's got a very 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 long way to go and there's not many features which can actually be accessed by a, a user interface a lot of them are launched by commands because it's just a developers build but anyway I shall cover it so starting up it looks a little bit different from the beta version of 3 the recently closed is now down here and you still got the same options for the list view and you got the pin and all of that and you still got the same blue smooth sort of texture up here which I talked about in the last one as well now apart from this there isn't a huge amount of difference to any other version of Chrome you may have apart from the fact that it has got some hidden features which can be accessed by commands obviously there are some other changes as well there is one particular feature which is included in the Google Chrome for developers build that requires a command line which I ha I haven't done so you won't be able to see it but you'll be able to see the space for it see there's two separators here with nothing in between them in between there appears the sync my bookmarks option and when you do that you can sync the bookmarks all of your bookmarks so I've got loads down here you can sync them with another computer another Google Chrome browser and other browsers possibly as well in the future so you can carry your bookmarks over in an easier way rather than having to do it manually through folders and files and stuff like that so that's a nice feature which has been in other browsers for some time but it's good to see that Google have finally adopted this obviously you can use the Google Chrome themes from the tools.google.com gallery you can use all sorts of different themes here and you just simply apply the theme and it gets downloaded and you can use it straight away and because this is one of the newer builds you can use all sorts of different themes with it as well as the stock ones and they don't take barely any time to download and you can be using them within pretty much seconds and it comes up with a little bar here saying install the theme brushed and you can undo or you can just cross that off and leave it as it is I always stick with the classic myself so that's pretty much it there will definitely be a stable release of Google Chrome 3 coming out soon which some say will be up to a third faster than Google Chrome 2 so that's a huge difference there so we can just look forward to that and because this is only a developer's build of version 4 we don't know what's going to be included in the beta builds and in later builds as well as we're coming up to a stable release of 4 but this is this is way ahead Google Chrome 4 is way off considering they haven't even released 3 yet so this is just a quick look into the developer's build and not much has changed there's been a few different things and there's a few hidden features which we can't properly use yet but apart from that it's pretty much the same as the beta version of Google Chrome 3